Alright, Jimmy. Your PC today. This is the case. This is the RAM. This is the SSD. This is the processor. This is the motherboard. This is the power supply. This is the graphics card. So we're gonna put all that stuff in here. We're gonna build our own computer. Yeah, let's get started right now. How long do you think it's gonna take? It's gonna take 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, at least. All right, let's yeah. build it. It's gonna take around two hours, probably. All right, first step: power supply. Power. Goes in the back of the computer here. Screws in, right? Yep. All right. We gotta line this up. I got your screws here. With our you want me to hold it? Yeah. Fancy magnetic screwdriver. There you go. Okay, so power supplies in. Four screws that we put together in here. Yeah. So we put these four screws in, and so now it anchors it there. Yeah. And then we have all the ports in here. And that's where all the power supplies go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna install the motherboard into the case, and then we're gonna install stuff on the motherboard, and then some more stuff in the case in the slots. And what do these cords do? These connect to the motherboard, and they power your hydraulics, your spinners, your... What do they do for real? They power the lights and the fans and the other components. They hook up the power switches and the reset switch yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And then like some of these plug into... That's a data cable that'll plug in so you can plug a hard drive into the front of it. And this one lets the government supply. No, unless the government supply. Alright, ready to do this? Yes. Alright, let's put it in. First, we have to install this. And what is this, JD? This, these are the ports, and they line up the ports for your headphones, your mouse and keyboard, and your monitor. And your network and, your, and everything else. And your accessories. And we have to put it in here, in this Personal part. effects. Because that, that's what like customizes the case to be for that motherboard. Okay. It goes in from this side. There you go. I think that got it. Okay. We'll figure out soon enough of it. And that now, the back of the case has that prettiness on it. So it looks exactly like we want it to. All right, this is one of the most delicate components of the computer. This might not look like it. Well, I guess it does now. We already put the brass post in there. Okay, just wanna make sure this lines up in there. All right, uh, it's lined up with the pegs on the edge, so. Good. Okay. And that's what matters. All right, we got the motherboard in. Now we gotta actually put it in by securing it in. All right, so now we are securing the motherboard to the... Uh, right, if you want to compare it to a movie, you would compare it to the docking scene in this tower. Right. This holds the motherboard on here. See? It screws into those little things. That's what screws, the motherboard screw goes right in there. And everything on the motherboard, at least these days, is typically labeled. It'll tell you what all the chipsets are. It'll tell you what RAM sockets are. It tells you everything you need to know. Got it in there? Yeah. See? And that's, that'll hold secure on there. Okay. If our tutorial is not adequate enough for you, here's a chart of what everything on the motherboard does. And if you can't read it on the motherboard, you can look on this manual. Everything lines up. So this will be in your manual for your motherboard. All right, we are going to plug these cords over here into this so that we may power the indicator lights and all the other cool stuff. All right, so let's plug those in. So you just match up the cord with the adapter. And not every motherboard comes with one, but you can just plug straight into the motherboard if you want to. So you got the HD light for that one? Yeah. What does that do? Uh, this is the hard drive mm -hmm. It tells you when the hard drive is being accessed. Yep. Negative. Yeah. And then this. Pause it out. That's the power LED? I believe yep. that's what that is. And then the reset button will, this is the button for the lights. Reset button resets the computer. Uh, yeah, but it, this is the light for it. Oh, wait, no, this no, is the button. switch is yeah. the switch that activates it. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's, here's a very important one. This is the power switch. Yeah. And then what's left that we haven't used? Oh, speaker. Uh, we don't need a speaker in here because we have HD audio that we actually already hooked up. And that goes up and it goes to the earphone jack. Um, and then somewhere in here is a... For your Beats headphones. LED switch for turning the LEDs on. Okay, we'll have to find out later. Okay, and then you just plug that into here. Okay. Now one of the things you want to do when you're doing this is you want to try to like manage your cords in such a way. But we forgot to do that. Well, we didn't. I mean, we can go through and like pull stuff out and put it back in the right way. And that, that typically only plugs in one way. You get it? Yep. Good job, bud. All right, now we're going to 
uh, put in the processor, and you gotta get this plastic piece out. Yep, that's a little placeholder. Down on this, pushing down, and then pulling out, and then lifting it up. And then holding the lifts up. Yeah, so you gotta pop out out the plastic part and then put the processor in, and then you put the heat sink on. You gotta be very careful when putting in the processor. That's why I'm going to do it. There we go, got it. Can you see where the notches are on here? Yeah. Where are they? They are on here. And here. And then where are the notches on there? So the processor can really only go in one way. Mm-hmm. All right, I think it's in. Okay, I'm gonna push on a little bit. Sure, that's perfect. Nailed it. I can like hear the little connections grinding as I <laughs> It's okay, I mean, you, you know, not everything is all. You wanna put the cover back on that? So it goes underneath that little screw. How do I put the bar back on there? Uh, you got it. Just, just push forward and then all the way down. It's going to be really hard to push it down. Okay. You got it. See, it's supposed to be tight. It's yeah. supposed to be. And now what is this? This is the heat sink and you use it to sink your heat. <laughs> the processor. Yeah, it has to plug. It has to be plugged in too. So let's try to like look at the plug first and put this in a place where it can get, it can get access to power kind of quickly. Okay, and then here's what you do. You basically push until it pops. 90%. Okay, and then you just turn them on. And then um, let's yes. tighten these guys here like this. So something we didn't do that we should have is that we should have rotated all these heat sink uh, supports in the same direction before we put it on. Yeah. Let's see if that's connected. That's connected. Okay, good. And then plug this, JD. Uh, put it into the CPU fan port. Okay, great. That's been done. That'll work. We're gonna put the RAM in. Let's put some RAM in. Let's that's do it. What, that's what you need to know. Okay, let's put them in A1, A2. So A1, oh, yeah, A2. Right, right. And then move this back. Okay. Put it in the inside one first. So we got a little more room to work with. There's a notch in here, and you wanna line the notch up with the motherboard. There you go, that's it. And you just slide it down in there. And click it in place. Click it. Okay. There it goes. Yeah, well, don't be afraid to use a little force on that stuff. Okay, so now our RAM's in. Okay. And then we have our processor in. Yep. Uh, so what do you think should be next? Probably putting in the solid state drive or the hard drive. Solid state drive or the hard drive. Okay. Um, let's do that. Listen up. This is a solid state drive, and this has no moving parts, and it's faster than a hard drive, but it's more expensive and it usually holds less data. So you usually use it only for the operating system and this is 265 gigabytes, which is way more than we need. 256. Uh, 256. Yeah, there you go. 256 gigs. Okay, so we're gonna, we have a special case here that makes it super easy to put these on. Yeah. And this one just goes on the bottom. So we have to screw that hard drive onto that rack. Probably turn it over. And you want those data ports in the back. Yeah. All right. So we put the first two on, and now Judy's gonna do the rest of them. All right, and that'll go back in the case right there whenever we're done. And then, what what is every hard drive that we're gonna put in here? Uh, power cable and a data cable. And a data cable. Every every hard drive needs a power cable and a data cable. Okay, you wanna slide it in? Sure. Open that door. In. There you go. So now that's in there, and we're just gonna have to hook up the uh, power supply in a second. All right, we are installing the hard drive by taking out this tray. So these pegs right here, this is where we attach the hard drive. And once again, this is a three put... terabyte hard drive, hard drive, and we use this to store all our games, our mods for games, and our gameplay footage. Pretty much everything that we don't put on the solid state drive, which is everything. And what is this back here? These are ports, right? Yep. You want to put those in the back. Okay. And this one you should try to be a little bit more delicate with because hard drives are notoriously sensitive. All right, so we got that in. We lined up the little pegs and popped it in there. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to put it in the computer. Don't want to just let it drop. Okay. Let's put it in the computer. That's secure. So we've got our hard drive there and our solid state right up above it, a little smaller heart. And if we go around right the other side, now that we lift it up, 
you'll see them right there. There's our power ports that we're gonna need to connect. Connect those to the power supply and to the other board, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so what are we doing now? What are, we, what are these things back here? These are the ports for the graphics card where you plug in your HDMI cable sunk up to your monitor uh -huh. so that you can run all the games. And we need to take those off, right? Yes. Because we need to have a place for the graphic card now, ports to have, show through the back of the computer. Yeah. Now since we have two other computers exactly like this, we're going to take off the first two because that's what we did with the other two. All right, now let's go ahead and grab the mother, or excuse me, the graphics card and we'll put that in next. So, we're going to plug this in to the computer. Hold on, let me get, push this tab down because you're going to go in there, okay. And here he's trying to get the ports to come out through here. It looks so far so good. We have installed the video card, but we still need to plug it into the power supply. So we're going to power the video card, we're going to power the motherboard. And put data cables in And put data cables in there. Okay, data cables and power in there. Okay, what do you want to start with? Let's start with uh, the graphics card. Graphics card, okay. So you're going to plug that into here. Right? Okay. Anywhere? Well, move it down a little bit because it'll be easier to plug subsequent ones in there. How many ports are on that one? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, so find an eight port one and plug it all in. I think it's right. Go to the bottom here. Okay, there you go. All plug right. that in. I wasn't paying attention yep. to that. Okay, plug that into there. Okay. Okay, and then you take that cord and you plug it in. Right here. There we go. So you got it? Yep. That's all plugged in. Power's plugged into the to the video card and it goes back to there. Yep. There's our switches that we plugged in earlier before that are plugged into the motherboard still. Um, and then, okay, next we'll do, why don't we just plug in the power for the motherboard. Okay. That looks like that one right there. Yep. Okay, so we got our CPU hooked up. We have our uh, CPU fan. Okay. RAM power from the motherboard. Okay. That's the power supply for the motherboard, power supply from the motherboard. So the only thing we have left to do is the power supply for the uh, hard drives, right? Yep. And that looks like it's to you, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, so here goes the power supply for the uh, hard drives. Yep. All right, you ready to lift this bad boy up? Let's <laughs> Okay, so now we have power to our hard drives, and then we're gonna. This is the data port right there. So that's the SSD. Here comes the regular hard drive. Yep. That's good. Okay. And then we'll push these through here, right? Yeah. So right. now we have to plug the data so we get perspective on where it is in the motherboard. It's like right next to the video card for this motherboard. Yep. And Jay's gonna plug it in, and he's plugging those into the SATA ports. Yep. Okay. So, let's go over our checklist real quick. We have a processor. Yep, we have the processor, RAM, motherboard, graphics card, power supply, SSD, uh, hard drive, and now the wiring. Uh, everything should be wired up, right? Yep. You ready to give this a shot? Yeah. You wanna try it? Uh, okay. What do you think? I think it'll work. You think it'll work? Yeah. Oh, that's confidence, I love it. All right, let's set this thing back up. We'll leave the case off for now and we'll hook up the, uh, are you tired? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's leave the case off this for now. Okay. And then we will uh, hook the monitor up and see if it works. How's that sound? All right. Good? Yep. All right, all right. here we go. You set, we all set, we got a keyboard, we got a mouse. Yep. Moment of truth, let's hit it. We uh, hooked up a drive. DVD drive with our operating system in there. Let's see what happens. Power supply turns everything on. Hit the LED button, see if we got the LED hooked up right. Oh, there we yeah. go. How are we doing? Core temperature looks good, so our fan's on. Well, no issues there. Everything looks good. Okay. Oh, there we go. Exit. Save changes and reset. All right, let's see what it does now. Let's see if it'll boot from that CD drive. Hey! Congratulations! We did it. We both. You excited? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. All right, good. Build your own computer. Bam, gaming system. What's the first thing you're gonna install? Uh, Steam. 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 <laughs> and then Gary's mod, probably. Yeah? Gary's mod, Gary's mod. All right, cool. Well, JD, congratulations. That is a working PC. It's like a dream come true. Yeah. All right, we'll do a little summary here. How long did it take us, about an hour and a half? Yeah. About an hour and a half total? Yep, with breaks about two. What was the hardest part? Uh, hardest 
far is probably the heat sink for the processor. That yeah, works. yeah, that that one gave okay. us problems today. Yep. All right, cool. But we're ready to go. We're going to be installing windows here in just a moment. There we go. All right, congrats, man. Thanks. So, do you think people should build their own computers? Yes. Why? What's the good thing about building your own computer? Because uh, you have more control if you order. Um, you have more control than uh -huh. if you order it from a company. I suppose it doesn't exactly matter. It doesn't really matter just to pick which parts you use in the computer. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's always like you can always like add and because you the most important thing is you learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to later, you can add like a better graphics card or something. I also like the fact, yeah, that you know what's in your own system, right? Yeah. And if you want to fix anything that's wrong, you can fix it yourself or you upgrade your parts, you know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can always repair something if something goes wrong. You learned all about it. All right. Well, congrats again. All right. Let's Thanks. install our operating system and have fun with it, okay? All right. One of our landers all the way to the moon. You pointing a flag? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been prouder.